Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how to move files from one folder to another folder in SharePoint using Power Automate Flow. We are going to use move file action to move files and subfolders source folder to destination folder. Now let's begin to create our flow. Before that we want to choose the source folder to move it to the destination folder. In my case, here you can see I have two folders in the documents library. One is source folder, another one is destination folder when i click on the source folder you can see two documents are presented and one subfolder is presented inside this subfolder one more file is also present now in this example i want to move all the source folder things to the destination folder where my destination folder is empty you can see the folder is empty initially log into the power automate flow using the microsoft credential and click on the create option here choose instant cloud flow enter the flow name here choose the trigger as manually trigger a flow and click on the create option here now select new step and search for the get file property to get all the file properties from the document library in SharePoint now choose the get file properties only and select the site address and choose the library name in my case it is document library and we can also limit entries to the folder so here I am going to move only the source file to the destination file so from the show picker go to the shared documents here you can see the source folder is present click on the source folder if we want to include the nested items we can choose yes else by default it will not be move the nested items so in my case i am going to click yes so that i can move the subfolder that is presented in the source folder to the destination folder now select new step here search for move file action choose the move file action here now in the same way configure the sharepoint site address and files to move based on the file id so select the file identifier from the dynamic content here search for the identifier click on it it will automatically so that it can be look through all the items that are presented in the source folder here we have to provide the destination site address from the drop down choose the destination site address in my case i'm going to use the same site address and choose the destination folder from show picker minus destination folder here you can see if another file is already there then we have three different options we can fail this move file action or we can move the same files with a new name or we can replace the file here i am going to show you all the three examples so initially we will see the replace action and click save now our flow is ready click on the test option choose manually click test it is asking for sign in permission click continue and choose the run flow once the flow ran successfully in the sharepoint document library we can see it moves all the files and subfolders that are presented in the source folder to the destination folder here you can see our source folder is empty now and in the destination folder we can see the two files and the subfolders with the excel workbook this is how to move files from one folder to another folder in sharepoint using power automate flow now we will edit our flow and now we will see the second action if the file is already there then in case 2 we will see move file with a new name this is the action now i have selected in my source folder there is no file so i am going to add the employee files again which is already presented in destination folder so i am going to upload employee files here you can see now in my source folder i have employees workbook which is also presented in the destination folder and the action i am using here is move with a new name if the file is already presented in the destination folder so now we are going to test this flow save and test now click run flow option and click once the flow runs successfully we can see now our source folder is empty and in the destination folder it creates file with the new name called employees1 now again we are going to edit this flow and in the third case we will fail this action if the file is already presented click on save option to save our flow and again in the source folder i am going to upload the employee files you can see now employees workbook is uploaded here and if the file is already existed in the destination folder then I, the move file action should get failed that is the third case so click on the test option click run flow click done flow is running here you can see the flow run file just because flow file or folder with the employees is already exist at the destination and in our sharepoint document library you can see if you refresh the page also the file is not moved to the destination folder just because 
with the same name it is already presented so it remains in the source folder itself and the move file action is failed here now in the same way we will see another example here in this source folder i am going to create new folder called test here you can see in the destination folder the test folder is presented now i will edit this flow with move with a new name if the file is already there and in my test folder also i am going to upload the customer file which is already also presented in the destination folder here you can see in my source folder the test folder is presented with one customer excel workbook and in the destination folder also it is presented with the same name with the same excel workbook now in the move file action we have selected the option move with the new name we will test our flow to see how it works click on the run flow option click done once our flow runs successfully we can see from the source folder all the three files that has been moved to the destination file you can see the employee file has been created with the new name called employee 2 and the test folder which is created as test1 with the same work same customers workbook this is how to move files and folders from one folder to another folder in SharePoint using Power Automate Flow with the help of move file action. With this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how to move files from one folder to another folder in SharePoint using Flow. I hope you understood this concept and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our YouTube channel. Please check it out and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.